Pull it together. Do you think I like shooting women, you filthy whoremongering wretch? Gracias, señores, que estaba viendo a mi tía, que tal vez ya desculpada. Yeah, y yeah, la... get out of here. Go on. Go on, get eh, it. Andale, gracias. Hello, Mr. Ricketts. Hello, John. I see you're enjoying another vacation in our little resort. Something like that. Well, we got sunshine, sand, and a plague that makes people eat each other. Come to think of it, it must feel just like America to you. What is going on? I thought things were calmer in Mexico. This is calm. What's a little light cannibalism among friends? Excuse me. So, how have you been? Good. Well, apart from my wife and son being tied up and trying to rip my soul clean out of my body, <laughs> and the entire earth turning into hell. Good. Real good. You know, John, I've lived a long life. I've seen this land when it was just wilderness and scrub. I've seen missionaries nailed to crosses by shaman and burn into just the cinders of their misguided devotion. I've seen slaves get set free and return to a bondage even more confusing than the one they left behind. I've seen diseases wipe out entire communities in a weekend. I've seen bad men make their own Valhalla out in the bush, with harems of maidens and the hunting of men as a sport. I've seen men struggle with principles and morals 
and the very meaning of existence. I've killed all that can be killed. Never, in all my natural-born days, seen anything quite like this. Nor me, sir. Now, if uh, we could only get something that uh, would attract these blighters, we could kill them faster and and maybe return this land to its uh, natural state. Some kind of bait? Exactly. I think I might know how. And more dynamite. I'm running pretty low. Let me see what I can do. Thank you, John. And take care. <laughs> Coming with me.
Father Superior, I think I have a test case for you. Senor Marston, you're a true pilgrim. That I ain't. Hmm. Now let's see. Well, it certainly isn't a fluke. Their eyes are so devoid of love, of, of anything. Oh, lively one I see. Here. What is that? Holy one. I think we may have something. It seems to be working. Maybe. <laughs> But it seems as if he were nearly saved. Spiritual infections are confusing things, Senor Marston. None of us can hope to understand them properly. But he came back for a minute. I bless the water, but perhaps my faith is not that strong. I have to do more thinking, but I need time. Every day, more of my people fall as the dead rise in Sepulcro. Then perhaps it's time I put them to rest. Take the holy water. Maybe it will be a calming balm for the restless departed. Thank you. No, thank you. You are a blessing in an unusual form. What if there's no cure?
Spit on me. You claw at my back, I'll claw at yours. Mr. Ricketts. Hello, sir. How have you been? As you imagine. Good. Did you get the dynamite? Yes. Mm. And the bait. Huh. Let's see. work with that for a second. Ah, uh, this uh, calls for a soft touch. Not the brutish hands of a man of war, but the delicate touch of an artist. Some uh, use oils, and some a chisel and a block of marble. For me, sir, it uh, was always either high explosives or the trigger of a fine iron. But it's much the same. Sometimes your humility overwhelms me, Ricky. <laughs> you and me both, Mr. Marston. Now, if you'd have seen me when I was a young man, if you'd have seen me when I was so fast, you couldn't see me. 
Well, then you'd know. This is humility. The truth is... Well... The truth is long dead. Now we got only memories. Memories and a great swath of demonic mutants, of course. <laughs> Have you heard anything? I heard a man in Chicago was writing a biography of me. And can you believe it? An artist in Pittsburgh painted my portrait. I mean, the demonic hordes. Not your own unending glory. No. <laughs> that. Nothing too interesting. Someone said that there's some really big problems near Escalera. But I can't concern myself too much with that. This is my home now. This, and this up here. Take care of yourself. I will. I don't think getting savaged by some brainless corpse would do too much justice to your myth. <laughs> yeah, I think you're teasing me, Mr. Marston. But I thank you, and I appreciate your concern nonetheless. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now you're talking. Ay, qué bueno. Señor Marston, how wonderful to see you alive. I think I've cleared Sepulcro. You're a brave servant of righteousness. I've been called many things in my time, but never that. <laughs> Who is that girl, by the way? She? I don't know. She said she was in a holy order in Escalera. I'm sure I keep seeing her. Or someone like her. Maybe. But it is a common enough look. Seemed like a nice girl. She told me something interesting. What's that? 
She blamed this terrible curse on our soon-to-be president, Abraham Reyes. Perhaps you have heard of him. Heard of him? I know him well. I hope that vain, ambitious, and repugnant parasite is no friend of yours. Not exactly. I didn't think he was that bad. And who am I to judge? Forgive me. I have just heard many unpleasant stories and met too many pregnant and abandoned girls. Of course. Well, what has he done? She claimed he had angered an ancient goddess, disturbed a crypt and a temple in her honor. <laughs> I mean, as I say it, it sounds like heresy, like the idiotic delusions of a cursed people. But in a land such as this, I have learned to be less dogmatic than maybe I have been instructed. I am sure it is just folly. Perhaps. But maybe it's time I go pay El President a visit anyway. I shall pray for you. Someone certainly needs to. Goodbye, Mother Superior. Vaya con Dios, mijo. Senora, donde, donde is Abraham Reyes?
He always did have a way with the ladies. <laughs> it's okay. He's dead. Thank you, senor. You'll be okay. I'm glad you think so. But I fear I won't. None of us will. We are all doomed. Because of him. Him? He wasn't a great guy, but I'm afraid you're giving him a little too much credit, my dear. Haven't I seen you before? No. He, he... He caused this with his greed and his lust for power. He heard an ancient myth and tested it. It caused all of these terrible things. His vanity overwhelmed us all. What the hell are you talking about? Where have I seen you? A me? Oh, I have a common enough face. I'm from here. He disturbed the royal burial grounds that lie underneath the town. He heard there was a mask hidden there that would make him invincible. I've heard this blamed on Mexicans, Jewish people, freed slaves, the federal government, immigrants, the bad weather. Now this. What's wrong with people? It's true. Look in that chest. He has a sacred mask. That is where this plague came from. Him and his awful lust for power. Where did you say the crypt was? Near the bullfighting ring, behind the via. Well, I guess it's worth a shot. Turn the mask to the altar and end all these. Wait here. It's too dangerous. I know what needs to be done. I sure hope you're right. I always told my son, never go into dark places with strangers. A presidential palace should never have been built above a good place. Harmony is fragile.